All right, it's that time again. It's Turbo Time here with Rip Fowler at IMSI Design. And today we're going to take a look at some new options of the Quick Pull tool. Uh, but first, I'm going to give a little bit of background about the tool. Uh, the Quick Pull tool is our, is our direct modeling tool. Uh, so what that means is in TurboCAD, typically we use parametric modeling. So I'll give an example here. I'm going to create a blend on this edge. So I'm going to select this edge and I'm gonna put in the radius at a quarter inch. I'm gonna hit finish, and now I have a quarter inch radius. If I want to select it, I can go back into the part tree, and I can ch change it to something else. So the geometry is defined by these parameters. So I can go ahead and change it. If I don't like it. So this is all great, except for I have no idea how this is going to look. So there's a uh, bunch of trial and error that I have to have here to get something that looks good. Because uh, when you're designing something, you don't only want to uh, have it be functional, but you also want it to look cool. Uh, that's the big difference between devices that uh, may sell correct well and uh, ones that might not do as good. Uh, so direct modeling, we can uh, directly manipulate the geometry of an object on the fly. So we've started out with the quick pull tool. The first thing we had was to be able to pull these in and out. So I can uh, offset a face. I can uh, draw something else on that face and extrude it. So that was the first step of the quick pull tool. Now the next step is the ability to manipulate these blends directly. Uh, so first, I need to get rid of all the part tree information because we don't want to, to change the parameters. We want to directly manipulate this model. So I'm going to go ahead and explode this once. So now it's, I've got an ACES solid. And now when I hover over the blend with the quick pull tool, I can manipulate it. I click once to manipulate it, and I can see what all sorts of different radius radii look like here. And so that is the big difference between direct modeling and parametric modeling. So now I can choose what looks cool and I can base my design off, uh, off those parameters, not the other way around. So that's about it for uh, direct modeling in TurboCAD as it is today. Right now we have just these two options of the quick pull. I can pull these uh, faces in and out and then I can also directly manipulate the radius of a blend here. If you'd like to take this tool for spin, feel free to download our trial from TurboCAD.com. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.